Bang! A World of Tanks video by Dangerously Incompetent, where I show you how I got Heavy Tank number 12. See, campaign season number 3. That's sturdy armour, where you have to bounce three times your hits off your armour. So it's 3,750 hits, I've got to bounce. Let's go. Now I'm hoping this video is going to come out crystal clear when it goes up on YouTube. Previously it's been a bit blurry. And that's because YouTube wants a format of 1280 by 720 resolution. But World of Tanks will only show 1280 by 768 is the closest I've managed to get it to show. So when I upload my MP4 to YouTube, YouTube goes, oh, better squish that from 768 to 720 on the old height. And that makes it a bit blurry. I've given up on trying to make World of Tanks display at 1280 by 720 so I'm going to clip off the top and bottom of the video and only record 720 height wise and hopefully that will mean it's nice and clear I did manage to clip off just the top just a few numbers and a bit of, bit of sky but I only managed to do that in windowed mode, which meant the MP4 recorded jerkily. <sighs> Sigh, nothing but troubles for you poor YouTubers. But anyway, to the battle. We're on Sand River, Tier 8 battle, I'm in my T29 American Tier 7 battle tank. No, ba heavy tank, not main battle tank. Yeah. And it spawned me close to my favouritest position when on this map when there's no artillery. That's in G1. I've got a lovely ridge in front of me, which can hide my hull, tips the front of my hull up, so that when I expose the front of my turret, they can't see my commander's coupler very well. It becomes hidden by my whacking huge mantlet which is what the T29 is notorious for it is extremely tough on its frontal mantlet and the front of its hull you can see the OI had bounced off me unfortunately I'm bouncing off him he's not exposed his side to me and he hasn't gone at an angle so I can shoot through his drive wheel and into his side so I've just been bouncing off his, off his turret in the front but Keeping his front to me has meant his side has been to that IS 6 and that T 30T to the south of him, so they've made mince meat of him. And that charioteer who is up in the middle is also gone, so I'm hoping oh, the E 25 is gone, so there's no one left to spot me as I rush across this exposed place here. Uh, generally, if you do this too early in the battle, you'll be spotted easily and shot up by the guys in the middle. There's only the Tiger P to spot me, and no one really gets a good shot at me. Apart from. Where is it? Oh, yeah, that VK36 managed to put one in my side. But now, I've moved forward, I've only got two tanks to. Oh, oh, make that three tanks to contend with. I've got a Tiger 1 and a VK36. Heavy tanks on my front, but I've got a lovely ridge here again, so it's my hull's hidden, the front of my hull's tipped up, they can only see my mantlet and a teeny teeny tiny bit of my commander's coupler. So they're bouncing all their shots off me. Hooray! Meanwhile, the Tiger One is in the open, and I'm making mincemeat of him, because his armour is rubbish for tier 7 on the front. There's something shooting me from my right side. So I'm guessing it's the ARL V39 or something else in the middle of the map. But all they can see is the top part of my turret. And even the side of the turret, the T29, is pretty heavily armoured. And I'm jiggling around a lot, so he's not getting to shoot my commander's coupler. So we're all good. It's Bounce City. I've dispatched the Tiger 1. One that remains that VK36. Unfortunately, T29's gun isn't that accurate when it's aimed in all the way, and the aiming takes a little while. So, oh, there we go. 
that was his top either top of his turret or his commander coupler went straight in. Chewed him up no problem, he's hiding now. There's still something on my side shooting me, but he's not getting through, so let's not worry about that. But we're down 8-5. The enemy killed 8 tanks, we've killed 5. Maybe I should do something a bit more decisive. Let's charge the VK-36 down. While he's hiding, he's gonna, not, not going to have an easy time hitting me. And he's tried to shoot me in the side, but my tracks ate it. <laughs> now he's playing clever buggers with this rock. He's a bit faster than me. But, oh, he's stayed out too long. And I've punished him. Knocked his tracks off, now to finish him off. I could do it with a ram, but it is uphill and it takes a long time to go uphill, so let's just shoot him. Good, right, now what do we do? Let's have a look for that tiger pee. I could go down into the body, but that would expose my hole, so let's see if we can peek at him over the top of this crest. Or maybe that T2064 something spotted me. Ah, there's the Tiger B. He hasn't moved. He hasn't been looking at his mini-map, has he? He certainly saw me go north. And he should have been noticed that I've just butchered his two mates. And he's next on my list. But he didn't move. T26E4 hasn't been looking at the map either. I've butchered all his mates in the north. But he hasn't been paying attention to me. Despite the fact I was spotted. But he's paying attention now after I've knocked off a few hits. He... <laughs> Now I've got a bit of a quandary. I can head south and go for the T32, T26E4, but that would expose the side of my hull to the ARL if he's still where he was last seen. So I decided to play safe since we've evened the numbers up a bit more. We're now winning 10 9. So I'll go north, do a nice big sweep. Well, it's a slow sweep, unfortunately, but then I'll end up behind the ARL V39 and once I've finished him off I'll be in the rear of the T26E4 and the T32 and they'll be easy pickings. However, the Hellcat on my team doesn't think much of my tactics and calls me an idiot. Well, do you know what do I do to idiots? Yes, that's right, I ignore everything they say because they're idiots and they're rude and insulting. I mean he must be an idiot, he's in the Hellcat and he's dead. I want to defend the base map with plenty of places for him to hide at the back and not never be seen. And he's dead. He's an absolute genius, he is. Even if he wasn't rude, I'd have every reason to totally ignore whatever he says. The rest of the team, though, have finished off the ARL V39. So let's head south for the T32 now see all the remaining enemy on the map so I don't have to worry about running into someone unexpectedly but I've run into the problem with the T29 is a bit slow so unfortunately I spend the rest of the battle hunting for shots and not getting them because I went the long way round and the T29 ain't that fast all that's left now is the T26 E4 last struggles against overwhelming odds as he flops around on the sand being shot at from all angles but that's how you that's how I completed HD 12 sturdy armor I managed to block a total of 5420 points of damage with me mantlet and my turret by getting into a place where I played to the strengths of the T29. Hold down, only exposing the turret, minimising commander's coupler, and they just bounce, bounce, and bounce again. Next up is HT15, where I have to bounce, deal out, and receive more than 12,000 points of damage total. My total for those three, this battle, is about 9,000. So it's going to have to be a pretty epic battle to complete that one in the T29. Well, we can but try. <laughs> 